what is up guys today i'm showing you how i make the best dinner dish out there now i know you're wondering what's this dinner dish what is he cooking is it filet mignon is it salmon no what i'm gonna be cooking is something so unique you probably never even heard of this combination even dreamt of are you ready for this what i'm gonna be cooking is Spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, you just blew my mind. Okay, just in case there's actual cooks out there, let me just say, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging this. Maybe give me some pointers for those of you who can cook. I know what I'm doing. I'm an expert. You don't need to listen to anyone else. I've got all your cooking needs supplied for, taken care of. No need to worry. I'm here. The first step in making spaghetti and meatballs is you gotta get the meat and you gotta make them into balls. So to the fridge we go. Let's see what we got in here. Do we got meat in here? Come on, come on, where's meat, where's meat? Got a lot of eggs. A half a thing of Irish sausages that is not wrapped up correctly. You seen this? The audacity! Okay, we got no meat. No meat only means one thing. Time to give up and uh, scrap this video entirely. I'm just kidding. That means we headed to the store. Come on, let's go. All right, what's up everybody? Just got to the store. I'm just going for the meat. Actually, what the heck? I might as well get spaghetti because I doubt we have it at home. Because if I go back home and find that we don't have spaghetti, this video is actually scrapped. There's no way I'm making two trips just for the spaghetti meatballs. So I'll be smart. I'll pick up spaghetti meatballs, maybe some pasta sauce, maybe Italian bread if we're feeling fancy. Cause that's that's for, that's a fancy thing to do. You grab Italian bread. If you're eating Italian bread with your dinner. Oh, excuse me. You know how to live life. Okay, so that's enough talking. I'm gonna go in, grab the stuff, and I'll be right back. Maybe I'll show you a sneak peek inside the store. Maybe we'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling inside the store. Okay, so this place is pretty packed. You probably won't see a video of me talking because I'm not get, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. How much longer until the next Italian bread is ready? Actually, all uh, right now, since I packed it. All right, perfect. Thanks so much. We cooking, baby. Sometimes talking to people pays off. We got the Italian breads. Now it's time to check out and get the heck out of here. Get to cooking, baby. Finally got out of there. That place was jam-packed. I swear. The things I do for you, the things I do for you. How am I gonna open this door? Fear not. Oh, almost fell. <laughs> okay, what's up guys? Just got home. Time to unload. Two Italian breads. Come on, you need Italian bread for dinner. Let's proceed, we don't need, we don't eat that yet. Ooh. Can't cook meatballs without these bad boys. Meat. Yes, yes. I know, it's surprising. You have to have meat to cook meatballs, but it's true. It, it is true, despite the rumors. Despite the rumors. All right. <laughs> uh, we got two meats. We got spaghetti times two. Why two? It's better to have more than less, in my opinion. You could always put in the fridge, eat it the next day. The little things you know, that's all the tip for you guys. Save it the next day. Cook more so you can have it in the future. And the last thing I picked up. Sauce. Can't cook spaghetti meatballs without sauce. Okay, so we got all the materials. Now what do we do with them? So I'm gonna prep the area real quick and I'll even let you see the process. Here we go. There we go. Got the two pans. These are where meatballs are going. Meatballs are going. This is where the meatballs are going to be prepared. This 
is that I chuck at my neighbor because he annoys me. Fair enough. And this is the meatballs. I'll be needing this guy. That'll be for the spaghetti. And I'll be needing this little guy for the meatballs. So we got the meatballs, spaghetti, and I'll get a little cap for the meatballs. It helps. I know the cap doesn't fit, but come on, I'm not searching through all those. Now I need to show you the secret ingredients I'm putting in these meatballs. See, I don't just put the meat and put them on. That's disgusting. If you do that, that's disgusting. Just change it. Change it up right now. I'm telling you. Change it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know what I do. I kind of just wing it. I'll take this breadcrumbs. I'll be taking, uh, probably should have planned this out. I'm kind of winging this right now. Um, why is there a cup in my cabinet? Just one singular cup and it's face up so stuff can get in it. It's not down. That makes no sense. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So I got my breadcrumbs. I got this chopped onion. Uh, I haven't cooked these in a while. I kind of forget the ingredients I use. I know I got these too. Whatever. We're going bare essentials. We got the onion. We got the breadcrumbs. We need some salt and pepper. Okay. After a lot of scrummaging around the cabinets, I found all the ingredients. Or at least a good portion of them. First thing we do is we put the meat in here. So. Watch me do that real quick. Finish putting them together. Now we throw the oven at 350. Put these bad boys. Oh, geez. This is about a full. Okay, so we got the meatballs in the oven. The meatballs going in here once they're done, so they get a little soak, you know what I mean? And then lastly, these spaghettis going in here, the water. And now we wait. Time to take them out. Ah, I got you, I got you. I'm not stupid, I'm not stupid. Always use one of these, kids. Okay, I don't think I need to tell you what I do next is kind of self-explanatory. I don't know if you guys noticed, but these things are pretty hard to get up. Here, I'll show you. I see, I forgot to use the Pam spray. I had it there, but I just didn't use it. I completely forgot. It's a rookie mistake and it should not have been done. This is okay, the meatballs are added in the oven. We put them in here. We sauce them up real nice. See how nice it looks and hasn't even cooked yet? Okay, so I'm putting her on five. Five. Now I'm gonna put this on top. That way the heat stays in. You know what I mean? I'm putting this guy on high. I want this cranking. Oh shoot, that can start a fire. I don't even know why I'm making a cooking video. I stink. But uh, yeah, we got the meatballs going there. We got the water boil in there. I should have boiled it before, that was kind of stupid. Mainly, I put those meatballs on there for like 20 minutes. So it's 20 minutes in the oven, 20 minutes there, and then bon appetit. You know what I'm gonna do while I wait? I'm gonna cut some bread, and I'm gonna cooking tip three. Wait a second, I never even taught you cooking tip one or two. It's fine, it doesn't matter. Okay, got the Italian bread. You wanna cut this up? I'll give you a little tip. If you cut it too big, people won't appreciate it. You cut it too small, people will think you're a cheapskate. So you gotta get the perfect, perfect dimensions. That's what makes it. Okay. 
I uh, kind of underestimated the size of the cutting board. This, uh, yeah, it doesn't quite fit, but I already sat down. I don't want to grab another one, so this will do. Now, because we're cooking an Italian meal, it's time for me to enter my Italian Michael. Mwah, bape, bape, here we go. We're gonna cut, we're gonna cut the bread now. That's what we do, ah. When the moon hits your eye, like a big pizza pie. That's some more. Wait, did I just break these glasses? Yep, I broke these glasses doing my Italian impression. Dang, I always knew my Italian impressions were good, but I never thought it was break sunglasses good, but I guess I'm not good. I said good a lot there. That's good. Okay, this is the proper dimensions of bread cutting. If you want the people to be satisfied, okay? I want them to be satisfied, because you're my friend, you're, you're my boy, you're my girl. I don't know whether you're a man or woman. I don't know what you are, but you're my that person, okay? We're cool like that, okay? Right here, study it. Take notes, get, get your notebook out. You know, I want you studying this, I want you taking notes. I want you to see every crevice and every divot in this bread and I want you to replicate it as best you can and you're gonna mess up and then I want you to do 10,000 more times and then come to me if you got any questions. Don't come to me, I don't wanna hear you. Oh, that sounds very threatening, I got a knife. I'm sorry, we're friends, we're cool. <laughs> can I make it up to you? How would you like some bread? Here's some bread, make it up to you. This, this is your piece of bread, okay? This one's just for you, I'll leave it right there. Okay, now I'll cut the rest. When the moon hits your eyes like a big yeah, what of it? I like singing that song. Does it make me Italian? Yes, it does. So, you're Italian too? Or we're like cousins? We're cousins, okay? Let's sing it together. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's more. You may notice I keep stopping there in the song. You wanna know why? It's because I don't know any of the other words. I got a button up. I'm not Italian. I'm an Irish son of a gun. I got some potatoes out back now for ya. You can have some of now. That's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing now. See, you see the key to an Irish impression, you gotta just say gibberish. You see, I've talked to a lot of Irish people in my day, and the key to an Irish impression, you just gotta talk gibberish. 70% of the time. Ah, come on now, but we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. We got to head now. That's what we do. Did you understand any of that? Neither did I. But hey, that's how some people talk. It's pretty funny. Check in on the food. Uh, I should put a timer on. I told you guys 20 minutes, but I don't know how long ago that was. So, uh, yeah. Meatballs. They're bubbling. They're bubbling. I'll take that as a good sign. Then again, I don't know. Spaghetti? It's feeling very, what do you guys think about that? Is that proper spaghetti? It could use a few more minutes. It could use a few more minutes. I want your opinions. Is this gonna turn out good? Is it gonna turn out disgusting? So yeah, a few more minutes on these two, and then I'll let you see the finished product. And I'll let you guys know. Gordon Ramsay comes up to me, he's like, Mike, I gotta know your recipe for spaghetti and meatballs. I'm like, hold it right there, Gordon. You wanna get in line. There's thousands of people waiting for this recipe, and yet only one knows it's me. And now that you've seen this video, that's two. Me and you, that's it, that's it. With great power comes great responsibility. So don't be selling this recipe to Gordon and making millions off my back, okay? We, we cool, we cool, okay? We cool. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to make the best spaghetti. I learned this trick from the Sopranos. So they're Italian, so they know what they're talking about. Okay, I'll tie them around you. Boom. Just strain it here. A lot of smoke, a lot of smoke coming up. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Boom. It's a a bit. Okay, this is the tip, so you gotta pay attention. You take the strand spaghetti, you put it back in, put it all back in, and then you put it back on the stove and you put sauce on it and you do that on high for like 45 seconds. Are we ready for this? Put it on high. Put sauce in. Oh, 
bring you guys closer. It's on high, you put the sauce in, now you mix it up. Yeah, so this is soaking the sauce in with the spaghetti. It's so good. So you do that, mix it around. All right, good enough. That's about done. So you're about to see the finished product. I hope you're ready for this. Okay, folks, we made it this far. We're so close to seeing the finished product. Are you ready? Yes? Am I ready? Not quite, but we're about to show you. Na na da 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 na It looks like a typical spaghetti and meatballs, but it's made by me, so it's the best. <laughs> now, if you want to spice this up, if you want to make your spaghetti and meatballs stand out from the rest, you do a little trick. We learn in the business, you know, Parmesan cheese. Bada bing, bada boom. Boom, just like that. Uh, it's not very centered there. I should mix it up a bit, but yeah. Just like that, you got yourself a good meal. And now when you when you uh, cook this in front of other people, tell them the greatest chef in all the land taught you. And when they go, oh who, Michael Duffy? You go like, how'd you know? I'm like, everyone knows. And then I come in, I'm like, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Keep spreading the recipe. Just don't give it to Gordon Ramsay, no matter what, all right? No matter what. I hope you learned a thing or two. You probably didn't, which, understandable because I'm kind of winging it. What can you learn from that? But hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Now, let's dig in. You may notice that I have a heel piece of bread. That's right, heel pieces of bread are the best. Never forget it. But anyways, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate taking the time, learning a thing or two potentially. Probably not, most likely not, definitely not. But hey, you watch this far, you're pretty cool. You're cool, you're a cool person. Now it's time for me to dig in. Hey, you might have followed along with me. If you did, hey, let's both dig in, all right? Let's 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 dine like true Italians. Mwah. And if you didn't follow along, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't dig in. <laughs> I'm sorry you can't have any of this. This is just for me right now. But hey, next time, follow along with us. Till next time, folks, see you later.